Me and my dad built this, this motor. We can't, dad can't, my dad can't explain how it works. And he says, you can because you're really smart. This is how it goes. So this goes in the center. And what is that? This is the magnet. We'll put it up like that. Put, the, put a wire on like that. This is the motor. So Brian has to explain to a five-year-old how an electric DC motor works. Good luck, man. Hi, Henry. I'm Brian. It's nice to meet you. And I like your name, by the way. Uh, thanks for sending your video about the motor you made with your dad. I think that's really cool. And uh, I've had a lot of fun thinking about it over the last couple of days, figuring out how I can explain it. And uh, there's something I wanted to show you first, because I thought this was kind of neat. Here's a picture of me when I was not much older than you are now. That's uh, me on the left there. And that's a picture of me at a science fair with a generator that my dad helped me build. So I can relate. <laughs> and I think I'm qualified to, to talk about how motors work. Um, I think the first thing to do is to look at how magnets work. And to do that, I have a couple more experiments for you and your dad to do together. So the first one is um, about how magnets are able to push and pull on each other before they even touch. There's, there's an invisible field, it's called a magnetic field, that comes out of a magnet. And that's what makes them either try to suck together or push apart, uh, depending on which direction they're in. And you can actually see that magnetic field by putting a magnet underneath a sheet of paper and then sprinkling iron filings on top of that. And those iron filings will actually line up and make a pattern um, that matches the shape of the magnetic field in the magnet. And so maybe you can convince your dad to go out to the shop and make some filings with his angle grinder. And then you guys can put those on a sheet of paper and, and look at the magnetic field um, from one of your magnets. And uh, make sure you do that out in the shop. It's gonna make a mess, but it'll be a lot of fun. You'll be able to actually see the magnetic field that makes magnets want to stick together or push apart. And then you notice that it, it changes, right? Like if you have a magnet one direction, it might want to pull together. And if you have it the other direction, it wants to push apart. So that magnetic field, it matters which way the magnets are facing each other. So that's your first experiment. Uh, the second one is again talking about magnets, but a different kind of magnet. So there's two types. There's permanent magnets which is what you have there. And when you think of a magnet, that's usually what you think of. It's always a magnet, it's permanent. The other kind is an electromagnet. And those are made when you run electricity through a wire. And normally with just one wire, it's really hard to see, but you can create a stronger electromagnet. And here's your second experiment, is take some wire. Uh, it'll probably have to be smaller wire than what you have in your video. So you have to find some thin wire and then wrap that around a nail a whole bunch of times uh, and then connect it to a battery. And for this, you'll probably wanna use a nine volt battery instead of the AA battery that you have. But if you wrap that around a nail, connect it to a battery, you've now made a magnet and you'll be able to do all the same things with it that you can do with a normal magnet. So you can try picking up paper clips, uh, try bringing another magnet close to it and you'll be able to see if it pushes or pulls on it. And uh, you can put it on, under a sheet of paper and sprinkle iron filings on it and see the magnetic field that you've made with this electromagnet. So that's your second experiment. Okay, assuming that you guys have gone and done those experiments now, um, time to explain how the motor works. And so if you look at what you've built is you have a double A battery with a permanent magnet on the bottom. And I think in the video you have a couple different magnets, but when they're squished together like that, they act like a single magnet. So you, you effectively have one magnet at the bottom and then your wire that you put across from the top to the bottom makes an electromagnet. 
And so you actually have two magnets now. And as you know, magnets push and pull on each other. And the direction that these ones are placed in, it actually wants to push your electromagnet sideways. And the really cool part about this is as that wire starts moving, the direction that it wants to push it actually changes as well. I'm very close to my camera, but that goes in a circle as the, as the wire starts moving. And so it just winds up going in a circle over and over and over again. So that is how your DC motor works. So I hope that helped. Thanks for setting the video. This was a lot of fun. And if you have any more questions about it, please, uh, please don't hesitate to send me another video. Bye guys. So we've got a permanent magnet, right? Which we talked about. We have a battery and we have a wire. Now let me ask you, if I took the magnet off here, do you think, oh, I wonder what this is what we can do. I wonder if, the, if this battery is magnetic. You think it is? Oh, that's interesting. The copper is magnetic. Look, there's ma there's there's filings on the copper. Wow. Whoa! Filings on copper? Would you okay, 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 okay. So this right here, Henry, we've made an electromagnet right here. Okay. And then you put the other magnet on it, the permanent magnet. And then so you have a north and a south and a north and a south, and it's always moving around, and it's moving this electromagnet relative to those permanent magnets. Does that make sense? Yeah, I think, I think um, it's pushing hard, and when I push um, the south and the south together, um, it, it really makes me do this. <laughs> that's right, that's right. But I think the north and the south are always, always moving on this, on this, electric, on the electromagnet. This was actually a really fun project that I got to do with Henry. And another thing that we get to do is just about every month we get these boxes in the mail from KiwiCo and they're filled with really cool things like this grabber and Henry made this really cool kaleidoscope. And I just, I really like it because it, 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 it opens up something not only in him, but in me and we get to work together, putting these things together. They come with really simple instructions that are broken up into small bits and pieces. And you know, they're, they're colorful. They're easy to follow. Henry loves them i love them he's learning how to read with them he's learning how to follow instructions there's some math involved it's really cool so this month from the bed desk plan money we are going to be giving away some uh kiwi boxes so if you go ahead and make a comment and something constructive we'll select a few of the comments that we like and we'll send out some kiwi boxes kiwi isn't asking me to do this i'm just doing this because i think this is a really cool and fun product that we can all use together i just really think this is a cool product and you know henry's at home alone with us and his sister and this is a really fun way to do school together and it's it's interesting it's exciting so yeah please uh please uh support our projects by um buying some of the plans or henry's um birdhouse or even the impossible table and we will send out some kiwi boxes thanks for watching <laughs>